Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. As many of you know, in our group UK Cricket Creators, we do free virtual events. Every month we do either one or two Dreaming Tree events and we also do some other 3D build events as well. I always upload the videos on how you get them on your computer and then how you get them cut ready because they do need to be cut for these events so that we can then put them together. So today I'm going to show you Winnie the Witch. So I'm on the Dreaming Tree website, I'm simply going to add it to my cart and then purchase it. Once purchased I can go to my account and then into downloadable products. I can find Winnie the Witch and select download. This is then going to download to my computer. If I go to my downloads I can see the file so I'm going to open that up. You'll see there's a PDF and there's a JPEG image. We're going to open the SVG folder by double clicking it and you can then see all the elements. You'll also see a folder which says extras. If we open that up you'll see we've got a folder of solid score lines. So there's two types of files in here. We've got solid score line files or we've got perforated cut line files. I personally prefer the perforated cut lines. I find you get a much neater and crisper fold, but many of you prefer the solid score lines. It's really a personal choice as to which ones you bring in. I'm going to bring in the perforated cut lines. If you want to bring in the solid score lines, then do so. But either way, you're going to have to make sure that once you're ready to go to make it, that your score lines or your perforated cut lines are attached to their base part. I quite often like to select all of these and then copy and paste them to my pictures so they're easy to find. Equally, you can leave them in your downloads and find them that way. So I'm in design space. I'm going to go to upload, upload image. I'm going to browse my computer and I can either browse my pictures or my downloads. I can open up my SVGs and I can start bringing in each of these files. Now you need to upload these one at a time. There's currently no way in design space to upload several elements at once. So we need to go through and add each of these files in. So I'm just going to select open. It's going to save as a cut image. I always keep the name as it is because Leo labels them really well. I might give it a tag, so for example, Winnie, and then upload. And I'm going to keep doing this for each of those files. Once I've uploaded them, I can select them all. And there are actually 19 file pieces for this. And then I'm going to add to canvas. So the first thing I like to do is separate them into colour piles. They're not necessarily going to stay like this, but just to start with, I like to put them into their respective colour piles just so that I can see what's going on. So we're going to start with this purple pile first, and if we refer back to our image, we can see that that makes up the bottom of our cape, so the base part of our cape, and the brim and the base of our hat. Now this one and this one are already set to A4, as is this one. This one's going to be a little bit tight on A4, so you are going to need a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock for that. Now I can either cut these out in all the same colour, or I can change the colours. So if I want my cape to be a different colour to my hat, all I'm going to do is change the colours by coming up to operation and you'll see there's a little box next to basic cut and I can then change the colour so that these are going to cut out as different colours. Now it doesn't matter what colour you change it to, the machine or design space doesn't know what colour cardstock you're putting on your mat, but I always choose colours that are similar to the cardstock I'm going to use so I don't get confused and I know what I'm doing. Next we've got Winnie's face, we don't need to do anything with this, I'm going to keep the mouth and the eyes the same. If I did want my mouth a different colour, 
all I'm going to do is duplicate it. So I've got two of these. On the duplicate, I'm going to select just my perforated cuts or my solid score lines. I'm going to go to contour and I'm going to contour out the ones I don't need on the eyes. So I'm left with just the mouth ones and then on the actual base cut and again I can select that in my layers panel and I can only select that in my layers panel if I click on this I'm going to select both the score and the cut we want just that base cut file I'm going to open up my contour and I'm just going to contour away the eyes so then I'm left with just that mouth and then on this one I can go into the either solid score lines or the perforated cut lines. Make sure that that's just selected. Again it'll go a darker grey in your layers panel. I can open up my contour. This time I can contour out the mouth lines. I can then go to the base file open up my contour and take away the mouth. I can then change the colours on those if I want. Down here I've got the stars which go on the top of her hat and we can see them there and we've also got some moons as well. In the same section of the moons there's also the buckle for the top of the hat. So again, if I want to separate my moons and my buckles so I can have different colours, all I'm going to do is duplicate it. With the duplicate, I'm just going to get rid of the solid score lines or the perforated cut straight away because I don't need it. I can then select the base file and I'm going to contour away by zooming out the buckle. So I'm then left with just the moons. And then on this one, I can select just the base cut, open up my contour, and I can then contour away my moons, so I'm left with just my buckle. And of course, I can change the colour on that, so it's a different colour to my moons. Here I've got the whites of her eyes, and I've also got a tooth piece as well. So if we zoom in, we can see the whites of her eyes. And we can see her tooth as well. I'm going to keep those set to white. We've then got her hair strands. So this one is already set to A4. This one is set to 12 by 12. So if I want to separate it, all I'm going to do is duplicate it. And with my duplicate, I'm going to open up the contour. And I'm just going to contour away that bottom section. That will then make this A4 appropriate and then with this one I can open up the contour and I can contour away that top section. So these are now all A4 appropriate and these are her hair pieces. You'll also see in here there's the wart on the end of her nose. So here we've got her hair and then we've got her wart. Now if we look at this piece here, we can see, and if we look at our layers panel, these are our pattern pieces. So if we look here, you can see we've got a pattern piece at the bottom here, so this is part of her clothing, and then we've got another pattern piece at the top of her hat. This again is already set to A4, but if we wanted to separate these, so we had two separate patterns, Again, all we're going to do is duplicate. On the duplicate, we're going to select either the solid score lines or the perforated cuts. We're going to go to contour. We're going to zoom out just a little bit and we're going to hide all the contours and that will leave us just with this top one. We're then going to bring back this line of contours here and take away that top one. When we close it down, you'll see that just this top piece has got the contour lines. If we then select the base cut, we can go to contour and contour that bottom row out. 
and of course we could change the color on this and then with this one we're going to select just the solid score lines or the perforated cut lines open up the contour we're going to contour out this top section then select the base file open up the contour and this time contour this piece out so we've then got our two pattern pieces and they are separated if we want them in different patterns or we can keep them as they are and just cut them out in the same pattern and as I say it's already set to A4. So next we've got these sections here. So these are all the same colour and these actually make up the main bulk of Winnie. So these pieces here are actually the base structure and then this is her nose and then this is the face elements. Now each of these you will get away with cutting them in A4 except for this one because it's got the nose on and also you might decide that you want to have these slightly different colours. Now you are going to see these base pieces just peeking through slightly and you can just see there that colour peeking through just a little bit. So you could have them the same colour or you can decide to have them a slightly different colour. So I'm going to make my actual top pieces a slightly different colour and I'm also going to separate my nose from here as well. So I'm going to duplicate this one and with the duplicate I'm going to go into the perforated cut or solid score line layer first. Again I know I've selected it because it goes a darker grey in my layers panel. I can open up my contour. The easiest way to do this is to hide all contours so it'll leave us with just our top one. And I can zoom right in so I can see what's going on. And I can then bring back the nose pieces and you'll see that that top one that's been left is actually part of our nose so we don't want to get rid of that like we normally would we're going to keep that we can then close that down and I'm then going to select the base layer open up my contour and contour out these pieces so my nose is now separate and I can change the color on it so it's in line with the rest of the top of my face and then with this one I'm going to open up my per I'm going to select my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines open up the contour contour away the nose pieces and then if we go into the base cut we can just again contour away those nose pieces so we're left with just these pieces. Now this whole section here, so this piece and this piece, we've got the black on our hat and the rim of our hat is black. And then all the way around our collar, we've got all of those black pieces as well. Now these are set currently to 12 by 12. So if I want to make them A4, again, I'm just going to start with this one. I'm going to duplicate it. And with the duplicate, I'm going to open up the contour. I'm just going to contour away those two bottom pieces and those pieces there. That then makes that A4 appropriate. And then with this one, if I go to my contour, I can then contour away these pieces. That then makes that A4 appropriate. The same with this one, I'm going to duplicate it. With the duplicate, I'm going to open up the contour, contour out these pieces. This is then A4 appropriate. And then with this one, I'm going to open up the contour and take away these pieces. Those are now all A4 appropriate and I could break those down even more so I'm getting full sheets of A4 so I could cram some of these together. So I would just keep duplicating them and using my contour to do that. Finally, I've got these pieces here. So the blue makes up the rim of the hat, our eyes, and our base structure as well. 
Now these are currently set to 12 by 12 so I'm going to separate them and I also want to separate my eyepiece as well. So I'm going to duplicate this and with that duplicate I'm straight away going to select my perforated cut lines or my solid score lines and delete them because I don't need them. I'm then going to select the base cut, open up my contour and just contour that away so I'm left with just my eyes and I could then make them a different shade of blue. Again I'm going to duplicate this straight away I'm going to take away that perforated cut or solid score and delete it. I can then select just the base cut, open up my contour, select that and that. I can then duplicate this one, open up my contour, take away that one and then contour this one and take away that one. They are then separately A4 appropriate. With this one all I'm going to do is select the base cut, open up my contour and remove those and then I've got this on its own. Own. Now this is a direct copy of this one so I can actually just duplicate this one and have those on the same sheet and they will be A4 appropriate. And so with this one I can select my score lines, open up my contour, hide all my contours because it's just easier and then bring back all of these score lines. I can then close that down open up just the base cut, select my contour and contour that away. So these are now, apart from this one which is slightly larger than A4, these are now A4 appropriate and all of these apart from this one and this one here are A4 and those two are 12 by 12. The only other thing I need to do is go through and attach my score lines to my base files. So if I select this you can see I attach, here I need to attach. So if we now go to make it, because we've attached all our score lines, you'll see that everything is on our mats exactly as they should be. We can then select the appropriate cut settings for each of our mats, so depending on the cardstock you're using. And then we will see you at the event with all of your pieces cut out. If anyone's got any questions, please do either ask us in the group or send us a message or you can ask below. And we'll see you all at this event. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.